Hi Stampers, Gator again. Um, it is pretty late. I've, uh, I've been tinkering, Hannah. Uh, we had some wonderful things on the swaps, but I just come up with, uh, I've used the set before, but I've never used the die cuts. So I've been, a, been, a, I've been doing a little bit of die cutting and I have cheated and gone and done it all ahead of time because my darling husband pulled out my big shot for me. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did. And it's using the designer series paper from the Colour Ther uh, Therapy. Um, and they come in Berry Burst, Dapper Denim, Crushed Curry and Old Olive. Absolutely stunning um, paper. It gives you the effect of like a colour swash, from, like you get from shop. Or crackled paint, or even faded areas so you can blend. Um, and the and uh, another crackled effect, like cracked old paint. But that's the Berry Burst, um, the Daffodil Delight, and uh, the Old Olive, beautiful. Well, I chose Daffodil, clean and crisp, love the colours. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did. I did cut a piece down to this one, down to four by five and a half. And I used the thinlets that come in the colourful seasons and chopped my piece of paper in half. So I'm going to use this half, which is the bubbles that way. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a little picket fence. Um, but on this card, which is what I just done, I used the ditches like that. And I used the branch and the stamp. And I thought life is a beautiful thing. And I just decorated each corner inside as well. And I thought, how cute is that? Um, and it could be for any occasion. So uh, we're going to do this one again using the other half of my paper so it doesn't go to waste. And that's going to be on this corner this time. And my details are going on this side of my card. How beautiful. So I'm going to pop these to one side. I am, oops, my just jumped out and <laughs> these are the only framelits I use on this one and it's from this colourful seasons and colour therapy colourful season that goes so well together so I'm going to pop my thinlets away you do get you get these as a bundle and you will save 10% uh, absolutely stunning but it does autumn winter summer and spring and some of the the sentiments are outstanding. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Oh, it's beautiful. And you got the flower, uh, the autumn leaves, the snowflakes, and, you know, a little drink with a slice of lemon. Um, but I'm using the lovely blossom, the branch of this one. And I have pulled the three flowers out, but I'm mainly using this one. So, uh, let's get cracking. Uh, it's just a standard card, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored and folded at four and a quarter. And we're just going to burnish our lines. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. And it's all in the dapper denim. It's once, twice, twice, three, and four times. I scrapped. Did it on scrap and uh, like I say, this is the piece I was going to use for the whole background. And then I thought, no, use your thinlets, chop them out and have somewhere beautiful to stamp on. So that's what I did. So I'm going to fetch my soft suede in, beautiful colour for branches. So I am going to attach this first so I know where I'm going to be sticking my uh, other branch and you get two cards out of your designer series paper that way and a little bit of two inch strip left over for another card so it's a win-win you get uh, three pieces of designer series paper out of that one six by six sheet and I am, put, I am putting this quite close well, in fact, I've put it right up to the edge. Isn't that gorgeous? 
and again I've already cut out my branch so I'm going to stick my beautiful branch there while I line up and ink up this one and see where we're going to put this can we crisscross should we crisscross should we have them going that way I need to, I'll tell you what I will do I will stamp my sentiment first because I'm having the same beautiful sentiment I think it says so much and life is a beautiful thing so I'm going to just pop this right down here in this bottom corner isn't that gorgeous I think that's you don't even need these brads you could just dot flowers everywhere but I'm loving the branch. Let's put this blue away before I stamp my branch in blue. <laughs> Knowing me. So I have inked up. Should we have these flowers dangling this way? Yeah, why not? It's it's one of those you just do as you go along. Look at that, how pretty. I'm going to pop that away for a minute. I don't want to get my fingers and elbows and thumbs. I have got a baby wipe. I've got it on my finger, see. But I do need the daffodilum back for my little bunch of flowers. What I've, this one comes with the dots, if you see it. But I'm not really wanting the dots. So I'm just using the one, two, three, four, the five little flowers on the bottom instead. I'm going to tuck them out of the way when I'm stamping. So let's get our beautiful Dr. Denim back in. Oh look at that, look at that. Oh my god. Look at my blue caruso. <laughs> oh my god I've made a right stinky mess of that. Two minutes, oh, as long as it's not coming off on my tissue anymore, I don't care. I can clean my thing. Look at my nail, it's blue. Look, I'm a mocky pop. I do apologise. Right, let's clean this bottom off this stamp as well. Otherwise I'll end up having it all over. So let's start again. Look at my thumb. Oh my god. Let's just I've got a little blue there, see? This is why I always keep a white when I'm trying to avoid while I'm trying to uh not put some of the stamp in, you need your baby wipe. So I'm going to just I'm not going to attach that yet. I'm just going to do my stamping first around this branch. And now I'm going to attach because I'm going to do I'm going to do a stamp off and then stamp because I don't want it full strength. So just a little bit of my tumble. Just dotted it everywhere. You only need a tiny little bit, but this is such a delicate card. It will stick, trust me. Tiniest little bit. Whoops. I don't want none of it poking out. My fingers are dirty anyway, so. Whoops. All fingers and thumbs. Should I, uh... Oh, isn't that lovely? Beautiful. Right, I'm going to grab some scrap. Why ain't that sitting down? I'm going to stamp lightly and stamp again. See, I'm getting a blob there. So I'm going to stamp again, and I'm going to 
wipe off the excess there. I did have a few boob boobs on the other one, but uh, I covered them up with those gorgeous blue flowers that I stamped and punched. I did. I did this one, uh, not that one, this one, on some cardstock, and I stamped, 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 and stamped. And look at the three, uh, the four beautiful colours I got, and I cut them out. So now I'm gonna stamp lightly and then I'm going to stamp on this branch. That's a second generation stamp as well. That's really... Not so much on that one but uh, don't worry about that. That's, what can, that's the beauty of our floating flowers now. We can have them anywhere we like. So like I said, cut Two lots of each. Look at my fingers. Mucky pop. So I'm going to turn them all over. I have cut my one strip of my dimensionals in half. Um, I've got a line on there which I cut off. And I've got a line all the way down this side. So I'm just going to attach one to each one. Oops, I pulled the back of that. So you could do this in the uh, berry burst, the daffodil delight would I reckon that would look beautiful. And a mix and then the old olive or a mixture of each one. Absolutely stunning. And we just got a few left on there for another project. Now you can just start building. I'm gonna turn them over now so I know what the dark ones are. Apart from that one, there's my two darkest. Look at my fingers, they're stinking. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing later. <laughs> I know I'm lucky, but I don't want to make that much mess. <laughs> so we're just gonna layer these up. Wherever we want them now. And I'm going to work my way down. Oh, I've even got it all over this hand. Oh my god. A mucky pop. Um, just add them wherever you want. They are absolutely stunning. I try not to go over the edge of the paper too much because I want the card to fit inside your envelope. Mm. Isn't that lovely? And any flowers now, see we've covered them. Um, one's up so look okay, it's all sticking to my finger i'm gonna have to go for a manicure i never go for manicures what am i talking about never ever i'm gonna pop one in between there going to I'm going to pop one in there because I'm loving the flowers I've stamped already. So, and I'm going to have this one right here. And I know I never did on my other ones. Um, I did. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I need to set my stamp back here. Get myself mucky again. Okay, I've got it everywhere. Uh, and I use the larger flower now for the inside of my card. And I just inked it up well. Stamp, 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 and stamp. And stamp, 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 stamp. Just for my inside to give it a little bit of decoration. I'm sorry for rushing, but do you know what I didn't do? I didn't add no bling. 
So let's get some bling on in here. Isn't that pretty card? I love it. Let's see how many we can pick up. Because we ah. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, you got to have a bit of bling, girls and boys. We all have a bit of bling. Whoops. Tricky little buggers. And you could also go over the petals with some Wink of Stella. Uh, or some Daz and Diamonds and two-way glue. I'm just going to add three random ones anywhere on my card as well because I'm good like that <laughs> oh I had amazing time girls anyway oh I found a straggler isn't that absolutely beautiful I'm not going to add none to the inside I don't think it needs so I'm going to fetch this one back in quickly Oh, it was just over in a flash. It went so fast. Now I'm waiting for the next one, which is in November. But me and my husband said, we're going to stay over. And let me go to the two days or all three, depending. Oh, I can't wait. So if anyone's going, come and say hello. Let's, uh, let's meet up. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Loving the both cards. Absolutely stunning. So that's the one I did earlier, but I just finished decorating. And this is the one I've just done with you now. And look at that. One use of paper on two different cards to give both totally different directions. The branches going up and coming down. Um, I'm loving both of them. So, uh. A thumbs up would be amazing and a share would be incredible. That That's what we like our shares and subscribers to do. Um, we like them to share our, our work as well with their friends and hopefully their friends may share it with their friends, which would be amazing. But um, And a subscription is fantastic. If you want to press the little red button down below, it says subscribe. That would be amazing balls as well. Um, this is not my set night to make cards, but I do try and get one every night of the week. But I am on tomorrow and I'm going to be doing at least, definitely going to be doing one, but I'm going to try and get two on tomorrow. Um, I know we haven't missed any days, but I want to get my 200 challenge finished way before Christmas. I'd like to do it before September now if I can. Oh, fingers crossed. Because September on, we're going to be doing Christmas cards right the way through till December and I love my Christmas cards because I send everyone I know one so um, thanks for watching anyway but uh, leave a comment and I will uh, speak to you soon bye